A Gwinnett County man is in trouble with the law. He's accused of beaming a light at a police chopper. Cops say the decision to do that put those officers in danger. Fox Vice Tyler Fingert is in Gwinnett County with a closer look at the video. For Gwinnett County Police, its aerial unit is its eyes in the sky, but those eyes aren't much use when someone shines a laser light at them, potentially temporarily blinding them. It was a routine flight Saturday night high above Metro Atlanta for a Gwinnett County Police helicopter until it wasn't. That's when a blinding green beam started targeting the chopper near Pleasant Hill Road and Satellite Boulevard. Aiming a laser is very irresponsible, um, the person's part, because it doesn't only put in danger the pilots, but it put in danger the whole community. From the air, the chopper crew could see where the light was coming from. Officers on the ground moved in and arrested the man they say did it. Investigators identified him as 36-year-old Aurelio Batista. We don't only take this serious because it's our police pilots, but we take it serious with any aircraft and the charges uh, get forwarded to the FAA. Gwinnett County Police say pointing a laser at an aircraft can affect a pilot's ability to control it and interfere with onboard equipment. It's not just a crime in Georgia, but also a federal one. According to the FAA, there were nearly 9,500 laser strikes reported last year across the country. That's up more than 65% in the last five years. Data shows there have been more than 150 laser strikes reported reported in Georgia in the first five months of 2023. It might seem like something that is not serious to them because it's a, a little laser, but it has a big effect when it gets pointed at the pilots and it could be blinding. These types of laser strikes happen often throughout the country. Besides local charges, the FAA could fine you up to 11,000 bucks. In Gwinnett County, Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News.